Welcome to Mtoto News Insight. I am Anne Wamboi. A seven-year-old boy was hospitalized at Nyahururu Referral Hospital after three teachers assaulted him at Kamukunji Primary in Old Jororok, Nyandarwa County. The boy's classmates narrate that the teachers stamped on him, exposing his private parts. The boy who underwent surgery to restore his testicles and stitching the scrotum is now recovering. This continues to happen even after the government banned corporal punishment in schools in 2001 and enacted the Children Acts, which entitles children to protection from all forms of abuse and violence. Yandara West OCPD Charles Cheriot says that the police have launched a manhunt for the three teachers. <laughs> Hata tagutulazo hapa hakuna mwalimu wajakuja hapa au hadimasta. Lakini mi nasema mungu wadrea kuponyesa mtoto Awe, na, na fuu mzuri diyo tuwede nyubani. Hata mkubo wa, wa elimu walikuja hapa kasema wasasi wakamukuji ni watu wabaya. Lakini wa, wasasi walikuwa natoa maoni yao au kinini zao sionekani. Mi nasema hivyo wa shukuriwe hatua. Dio waki wakita kufanya mtoto wengine hivyo wae wanajua ni makosa wanafanya A standard two pupil was on Saturday rescued by police from a forced marriage to a 58-year-old in Kajado West sub-county. The nine-year-old girl from Esonora Primary School was rescued by Kajado police officers who stopped the ceremony organized to marry her off as a fifth wife. The marriage, attended by members from both sides of the family, was brought to a halt after police raided the scene, arresting an assistant chief in attendance alleged to facilitate the illegal marriage. The assistant chief, who is reported to have facilitated the child circumcision, was arraigned and charged in a Kajiado court. And finally, the World Report on Disability estimates that 15% of the world population are people with disabilities. In Kenya, 10% of the population is disabled. That is about 4.44 million people, including children. Children with disabilities continue to face high levels of stigma, discrimination and abuse and often miss out on the opportunities that are the right of every child like education, health and overall well-being. Uh, for me, for me, I think that the the current education that we are we are having sometimes it's unfair to people with disability because you can get that there are some children who are not able maybe to like they are in they they have their disease they have a disability and they cannot maybe concentrate so much in their education and yet they are they examined the same with the others so you get that when they are gauged they get to fail and they get to to become discouraged and they can't move on but for me i was just asking if they could be given their own exam according to their situation you know if they get their exam they will be able to compete among the, themselves and they will not have to like feel discriminated maybe they get ease and others are getting maybe b because of their their condition so if they could be given different exam according to their situation i think that will really help them yeah. the global disability summit is committed to identifying and prioritizing gaps on the protection and promotion of disability rights for children kenya participated in the pre-summit activities to address the needs of disabled children we are going to have the main summit in london um, in a few weeks time to come we are hosting uh, the country, the UK, um, and the International Alliance for Persons with Disabilities. Um, and uh, 
you know very well that this country now is very keen about inclusivity as one of the yardsticks for uh, measuring uh, development you know, in the country. And uh, for a long time, uh, we have just assumed, you know, factors like GDP, and everybody has run away with that. But now there are more important things to look at uh, in terms of the social dimension. That brings us to the end of our report. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Mtoto News. I am Anne Bomboy.